There isn't anything that screams more in plastic surgery than an over-tightened, over-pulled facelift. A lot like some of the celebrities you perhaps have seen on television. But fortunately, there's some good ways to avoid doing that because obviously our goals are for people to look as natural as possible. And the way that I typically provide a natural facelift is through a two-layered approach where we tighten the underlying tissues which are the cause of most of the aging and then we're able to redrape the overlying skin in a more natural fashion. That way we're not using the skin to do all the work. Marianne has volunteered here today to uh, be our model so I can show you some of the attributes that we look at when we're ascertaining whether someone is a good candidate and what indeed can be done to improve patients for facelifts and neck lifts. Despite all the markings, a facelift will improve the lower half of the face and into the neck area. And so when I assess what sorts of features that we can improve with a facelift, I look for the jowling, I look for the jawline, and we look at the, the neck tissues. Not only to see if there's looseness to the skin, but also again the underlying tissues which need to be put back where they were when she was younger. So as far as the jowling goes, what we're going to do is we're going to help raise up the jowling and bring that up along her cheekbone here as well as in front of the ear, tightening it up in a fashion in this way. That also then improves along the jawline by the same sort of motion. With the neck area, it's more of a posterior pull in order to tighten up the neck skin and underlying tissues there. Now for some people what we'd recommend doing is just the facelift because they've got a very nice neck and nothing needs to be done there. It's a shorter incision, a little bit less of a recuperation. For other folks they come in and they've got a very heavy neck, their cheek looks great and they don't need anything for it done. A lot of men fall under this category so we may do some tightening of the tissues, we may do some liposuction of the neck and then bring that up and tighten that up separate from the face itself. The recuperation is moderate, being approximately 10 to 14 days before you want to be seen socially. And at that point in time, makeup and a hairstyle can help camouflage some of the bruising and scars until they completely heal. A well done, naturally appearing facelift can make us all look a little bit closer to the way we feel inside. And that is the goal of a good facelift.